1996, the Olympics, they were in Atlanta. Jerry Maguire was in theaters and the Spice Girls were on the radio. <laughs> it was also the year that Dr. Mary Ann Stevens took the helm at Omaha's College of St. Mary. And she's here with us to celebrate that milestone. Congratulations, Dr. Sister, Doc. What, you have a couple titles. I have a what couple you, titles, you go by? I, but I go by Mary Ann. My okay. mother called me Mary Ann and that's what I was, I'm most comfortable with. I've lived with the longest. Yeah, <laughs> Mary Ann, thanks for coming this morning. Uh, how does it feel that you're celebrating a milestone this year? I'm celebrating a milestone. I've, you know, 20 years at College of St. Mary. It's been the most wonderful ministry job that I've ever been involved in. Um, 50 years as a Sister of Mercy, the Sisters of Mercy, a Catholic religious order of women, really formed me in my adult life, and I'm very proud of the values that they have and instilled in me. Yeah, and there was, a, I think you celebrated with a roast. Was, we, a, was there a roast last week? There was a roast on the 12th, yes, last uh, Monday night, uh -huh. and. Uh, it was celebrating the 20 years of College of St. Mary. So the board of directors were there and uh, Rick Jeffries, uh, the chair of our board, did a fine job of roasting no, not only me, but the Sisters of Mercy. <laughs> I'm sure he did. <laughs> was it a little awkward though, being uh, the center of attention? It was uh, very awkward being <laughs> the center of attention and I had to sit up there and listen to all of these people talk about me. They said some nice things, right. however, so. How did you end up at College of St. Mary? My, uh, I was at Creighton University teaching in the theology department for 10 years mm -hmm. and I was on the board of the college and uh, they asked me, this is a bit of an embarrassing story, they asked me to chair the search committee for the new president and um, we had a number of search committee meetings and it's a relatively long story that I won't go into here uh -huh. but I left the room to use the facilities and when I walked back the search committee said we think you should do this. <laughs> wow. I think it was a setup. I, I, set up. I think it was a setup. Sight, right? And so uh, that evening I, I said, well, I have a job. My first instinct was to say, I have a job. <laughs> and uh, I went over that evening and I walked around the campus and I thought, you know, I could do this and yeah. maybe it would be a good thing. So I think it was really a calling. Uh -huh. Definitely. Yeah. College of St. Mary, it's been around for a while, but I think, you know, the last several years, 10 years, there's been a lot of growth there. Yes. What did you see when you first came to campus and when you first took over as president? Well, when I first took over, it was in, it was in difficult shape. Uh, it was not unlike many small private colleges, really struggling. Mm -hmm. um, and so it needed some refreshment. Um, I always say my metaphor for that time is we didn't have grass. We sort of were mowing weeds, you know, uh, <laughs> right. and uh, the parking lots weren't very full. And so one time I was at a meeting and uh, we, it was a facilitated board meeting and they asked us to draw our vision of the college and I can't draw so I drew lines like a parking lot and put smudges for cars and my vision was a full parking lot mm. and I'm happy to say that this year actually last Tuesday we had 50 cars we could not put in designated spaces. So yeah. we have say, there's some overflow yeah, there. Right? The enrollment overflow. is way up. Right the now, enrollment's way up. Great. Yeah, We had about a 4% increase this year and a even more significant increase in first year students. So we're really not just enrollment though, I'm sorry, not just enrollment though, but how, how have things changed over the last 20 years? What, are, what have you well, said? Uh, well, uh, we have more money, but uh, you know, so we have more, uh, we've put a lot of money into our facilities and upgraded the equipment, science equipment, nursing labs, occupational therapy labs. We've started some new programs. The occupational therapy program started about 20 years ago. We started a physician assistant program just last year. Um, so th there's been a lot of growth. Uh, we have more faculty, more students, um, more athletic teams, you know, more reasons for College of St. Mary to be looked at by a student. And it sounds like an increase in some of those diversity programs, whether it's sports right. or arts or academic or... That's right. Plus, um, in the year 2000, I was approached by a young woman from Hardington, Nebraska, who was living in our residence hall. She was a junior. She had become pregnant and she said to me, I don't know how I'm gonna finish my senior year if I can't bring my baby to the dorm. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, let me think about it, gulp. And, <laughs> right, right. but subsequently we built a residence hall for single parents, mm -hmm. uh, single women who have children to live and their children live and eat their free, they pay tuition, Wonderful. room and board just as they would if they were not, um, if they didn't have a child. Yeah. And That's we incredible. Have a, and we have a child development center on the south end of the campus and a school bus picks up the, the children who are school age. Yeah. So yeah. that's a, it's a unique niche program and I think College of St. Mary can do that yeah. in a way that maybe a co-ed campus couldn't. Sure. Uh, yeah. I think it was about a year ago, uh, you went to Washington DC to hear the Pope speak to Congress. Uh, yeah. you, I think you were invited by Senator Deb Fisher. I was. Yeah. Would you describe that experience? 
it was incredible. I've, I mean, uh, obviously, I've never been in uh, the Congress when the Supreme Court walks in, the Cabinet walks in, the Joint Chiefs of Staff walk in. I mean, just that. Mm -hmm. Plus, to be that close to Pope Francis delivering a message. You know, I can remember uh, as a young person when President John Kennedy was elected and there was all kinds of fear of Catholicism, like he was going to bring the Pope over in his suitcase. You know, that mm -hmm. was one of the cartoons. Mm -hmm. But today, I think uh, with Pope Francis, there's been a real opening to what Catholicism can offer, even on the political and the national level, Definitely. international level. Yeah. Um, even today, he just came out by saying, there's violence in all religions. Mm -hmm. There's violence mm -hmm. in Catholicism. Don't just look at the Muslims and say, there's violence in that religion. Sure. I mean, yeah. so he's incredible. He really and is. And he was just magnetic in that experience. What a lifetime experience for you. Yeah, it was. Great. It was amazing. Um, the college, 33% uh, uh, increase in new students uh, enrollment that are coming on campus, uh, doing a lot of amazing things. 20 years for you as president of College of St. Mary. Uh, we just we have about 20 seconds left. But where do you take it from here? What's the next step? <laughs> That's what everybody asks me. On <laughs> I got, a, I got no an pressure. email yesterday from somebody <laughs> I had written to the board, and I put on on with the 21st year. I thanked them for last week, and somebody wrote back to me and said, "What do you mean 21st year? How about the next 20?" And I said, "Now wait right. a minute, yeah. you know." <laughs> so I'm. Uh, we have a strategic plan, a relatively mm -hmm. robust strategic plan, and I think you'll be hearing a lot more from the College of St. Mary even in the next couple of months. But yeah. I'm not going to tell you any okay. secrets. Congratulations. <laughs> a cliffhanger right yeah, there, there for us. Go. We'll have to get you back on. There you go. Uh, Dr. Stevens, thanks for stopping by this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, DeWalt.